assalamu alaikum the topic for today's video lecture is application of schrodinger wave equation now in this video lecture we will discuss and we will describe in what in what places the schrodinger wave equation can be used moving on to point number 1 the schrodinger wave equation is used to calculate the energy and the wave function of a particle in 1d box and a particle in 3d box so i can say that uh, i can apply the schrodinger wave equation uh, to find the energy and wa uh, wave function of a particle that is confined in a one dimensional box and i can also use this equation also use the schrodinger wave equation to find the energy and wave function of a particle that is confined in a three dimensional box okay uh, so what is one dimensional box if i talk about the one dimensional box it is just like this a one dimensional box and if it has a particle like this in it i can use the schrodinger wave equation to find the energy and wave function of the particle that is in this one dimensional box similarly i can use to i can use schrodinger wave equation to find the energy and the wave function of a particle that is confined in a three dimensional box and if i talk about three dimensional box i have three directions i have an x direction i have a y direction i have a z direction whereas if i talk about one dimensional box i only have a x direction so schrodinger wave equation can be used to calculate the energy and wave function of a particle in one dimensional box and a particle in three dimensional box so moving on to number point 2 it also introduces the concept of degeneracy in atomic orbitals what is degeneracy in atomic orbitals if i talk about uh, the atomic orbitals there are atomic or orbit or orbitals like uh, s p d f these are the atomic orbitals and if i take uh, p atomic orbital so so the p atomic orbital is equal to p x py and pz these three px py and pz are the degenerate atomic orbital it means these all all of these three atomic orbitals have same energy so using the schrodinger wave equation i can introduce we can introduce the concept of degeneracy in atomic orbitals okay so we can uh, say that px py and pz are three degenerate atomic orbitals Now, point number three. It is used to derive an expression for electron in hydrogen atom. Schrodinger wave equation can be used to derive an expression for an electron in the hydrogen atom, and it is also used to derive quantum numbers. Do you know what are quantum numbers? Quantum numbers uh, are uh, the numbers that are used to describe the address of an electron in an atom. Uh, if i take the quantum number there are different types of quantum number like principal quantum number the azimuthal quantum number magnetic quantum number spin quantum number there are different types of quantum number so using the schrodinger wave equation we can derive the quantum numbers moving on to point number 5 it is used to calculate the energy of pi electrons in conjugated system like benzene if i talk about a molecule of benzene it looks just like this okay so this these here these double bonds these form the pi conjugated system so using the schrodinger wave equation i can calculate the energy of these pi electrons in this conjugated system like in the conjugated systems like benzene okay we have taken benzene as an example because benzene has a perfect conjugated system so i can use the schrodinger wave equation to calculate the energy of pi electrons in the conjugated system so next thing it is used to calculate the resonance energy of a molecule okay the schrodinger wave equation is also used to calculate the resonance energy of a molecule there are also more application but these are the main applications of schrodinger wave equation that was all for today's topic see you inshallah in the next video do not forget to like the video and subscribe the channel see you inshallah